Hey guys, buenos dias. Today I wanted to do a quick little get ready with me before work. So I usually always start with my Pond's moisturizer because my face tends to get really dry. I always apply a good amount all over my face. For those who have really dry skin, Pond's will really hydrate you. Honestly, it's my holy grail. I really get in there and massage and moisturize really, really deep into my skin until I feel like it's really set in. After I'm done moisturizing with Pond's, I go in with my Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. I know what you guys are thinking, another hydrating thing, my skin just gets really really dry and honestly it's the best thing that works for me. You guys should definitely give it a go because it works wonders. But anyways, enough of that. Once I'm done massaging in my skin, I continue to go on with my um, massaging, still massaging okay girl you just be massaging massaging okay now we're gonna get a fan because we're bougie and we're gonna just fan away keep fanning girl okay sunscreen now we're gonna do some sunscreen put it all over our faces really really get in there just you know yeah look at the other side of the mirror because that's professional yep yep don't look at the camera don't look at the camera okay girl i see you <laughs> okay okay all right i'm still doing that the massage yes you guys know how just really let it in there soak it in i think i'm gonna pull out my fan again let's see okay oh there i go being extra i love it though keep fanning keep fanning all right i see you boo keep fanning okay so now i'm going to put some chapstick on um just to hydrate my lips because what is life without hydration anyways so now i'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow and i'm gonna just use one um golden eyeshadow that i usually use that's like my favorite one um i actually got it in my ipsy bag a long time ago before i canceled my account um so yeah i'm just gonna keep blending and I'm gonna just make it subtle and just you know I like my eyes looking bronzed all the time I don't know why I just always have but I'm just going to keep applying it on my eyelids and just will keep blending and I even blend um, a little bit out just so it can look more um, blended in than just being a one full circle of just some eyeshadow um, eyeliner which is the Revlon Colorstay liquid eyeliner with a fine point um, I really take my time with this. This is the one part that I really, really get scared of because I don't want to ruin a line and I'm sure all of you guys feel the same way. So this is me just practicing and uh, just doing a quick little simple eyeliner look. So now I'm just looking at the camera and checking if I did a good job on my eyeliner. Um, but yeah, pretty much you just have to be patient and you have to have a light hand. And uh, there I am going with the second eye. And I'm coming to realize that my eyeliner is just going to be a sister. It's not going to be a twin. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. I always have been. I'm not really picky when it comes to my eyeliner. But I like to keep it thin and subtle with some nice um, little pointed wings at the sides. That's just my everyday work look that I have. Um, yeah, I wear eyeliner and eyeshadow and foundation. Okay, so now that I'm done with my eyeliner, I'm going to go in with my eyelash curler and just curl my eyelashes individually. I like to do it for like 10 seconds on each side. I literally count. Um, but once I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with some mascara and I'm going to use the Voluminous Lash Paradise this is honestly the best drugstore uh mascara there is right now everything else is just kind of weak it really really is weak and this is really really good i think you guys sh should all give it a go and give it a try it really makes your lashes look way longer than they actually are without being clumpy and without getting hard really fast 
Oh, just realizing that I have a little bit of a black clump on my side of my nose, but that's cool. I have my concealer brush and I just wiped it right off. Um, this is why I don't do my foundation first because I, I become a mess and I always am really messy when it comes to my mascara. But I'm just gonna do the other side and then once I'm done with that, then I will continue on with some foundation. Done. So now I'm going to go in with my foundation. I forgot to show you guys what kind of foundation I was using, but right now I'm using my Physicians Formula, the LC1 color. Um, that's the one I usually use to work because it's very lightweight, but it really does a trick with covering um, any imperfections I don't like for my skin. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to apply it all over my face with my uh, regular foundation brush, and I got that brush from Target. Um, I think it was like eight dollars and I've had it for almost a year now and it still works nothing has been falling apart the only thing it just looks a little dingy and a little like overused you know but I do still wash it and all that good stuff but anyways besides that I'm just gonna use it and I'm gonna uh, go in circular motions and uh, just apply lightly onto my skin nothing fancy and um, I don't usually contour or do anything of that sort when I'm just going to work. Just continuing to blend out my foundation and nothing crazy, just circular motions going really quickly in this video, but in reality it does take me about 15 minutes to do my full face. And um, after that, now I'm just going to jam out for a couple seconds, because why not? and i'm gonna set my face with some setting powder and i didn't show you guys there either but i usually use the kat von d um, translucent powder that one honestly works so amazing and ever since i purchased that i've never had a problem with it um, it just works very well and it makes my skin just look photo finished and i love it even when i go to work and i have to wear a mask i it doesn't really affect my makeup that much with this photo finish um, Kat Von D powder. It, I can literally take my mask off and it'll just look as if I wasn't wearing a mask at all. Which is really really dope and it's very hard for that to happen when you're always in a mask. Anyways, now I'm going to go in with some Fit Me uh, setting powder. I, Like I said in my last video, I use this as my bronzer. Um, I think it looks really very neutral and I really love to use it on when I'm going to work or anything where I don't want to look like I'm super super bronzed. I just kind of want to have like a subtle um, definition to my cheeks and um, it's very cute and it's very lightweight so it doesn't feel like anything crazy and even though it's um, a setting powder it still does the trick for me because I got a set uh, a darker uh, shade which works perfect for me okay now looking for some lip stuff I'm getting the lipstick that is from L'Oreal and it's called glowing nude um, number 216 now that I'm done with my lips, I'm going to do a little retouch on my mascara. Just trying to make them elongate a little bit more. And just, you know, just doing the finishing touches. I'm going to do the bottom. And I am going to do the other side as well. But just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Like always, I'm just trying to have like a neutral look. Alrighty guys, so this was actually my first time doing a voiceover, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this is my final look, just something simple. It was actually not that easy doing a voiceover to be honest, but I had a good time. Uh, I hope you guys did too, and please like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Bye guys. Mwah.